Hello guys, it's a warm welcome back to the channel. This is Alpha Omega Daily. Um, this video is about privacy in Thailand. It, it's been inspired, by the way, by a friend of mine who has a channel here based in Thailand. Um, uh, and basically, it was some, he mentioned it on his, his channel, and it was something that he said that really triggered this with me because it resonated, it actually resonated with me. Um, basically, one of the things that it may this may suit some people, or it may not suit other people. It doesn't necessarily suit me. Where I am now, this is a, an apartment complex, okay, and it's reasonably quiet, and it's 25 to 12 in the morning, but it might be six o'clock in the evening or it could be eight o'clock in the evening or it could be five o'clock or three any time of day and it would still be like this you might get some of the people who live here this is kind of the children's play area there might be some kids here now and again but certainly never packed and if i pass by a fellow resident here on one of the many walkways around here they'll just look the other way as they pass you by They'll never, I haven't yet, in a year of living in this particular complex, I can't, I cannot say that I have had a brief exchange, in other words, an, in other words, a, an a hello, how are you, with anyone in an unsolicited way. In other words, I've been the instigator, I've said it first. And a lot of the times when I say it, to my frustration, the, a lot of the people, don't reply they just look the other way and keep walking and I at the start misunderstood this as a form of rudeness but the more I get to understand the ties they're just very either shy or polite I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but it, it doesn't suit me it doesn't suit me I've often said that I said it to my wife living in this place is like living in, a, in an asylum Everything is babao cha cha. You can't raise your voice. You can't, the, the amount of rules here. Um, for example, you, there's no litter bins. I mean, I covered this in a video before. There's no bloody litter bins in Bangkok. And it just, they, it's their country or their city. They can have it whatever way they bloody well want it. But I'm just as entitled to get angry about it in with myself or no, to myself or to you guys. But there's no litter bins here either. I mean, there isn't a litter bin in sight. So if I buy a coffee from the vending machine up here, and I'll show you that actually. So another aspect of a Thai apartment building, it's very cramped here where I am. You've got a 7-Eleven vending machine here, which gives you a range of snacks and knickknacks and all that kind of stuff, and a coffee machine. But let's say I want to buy a coffee and sit out in that kind of communal area. There's nowhere to put the empty polystyrene cup when I'm finished with it. I have to carry it around me, and that's, you know, that's a, for me, that's an inconvenience. This this whole thing about privacy, everyone wants, everyone needs their privacy. Of course, everyone needs their privacy, but you could be left alone here to such a degree. And I've said this a long, uh, I've made a video about this before on this channel. You feel like you're invisible. You feel like you don't exist, and that can suit some people, but it doesn't necessarily suit me. You know, I prefer a bit of life. I prefer a, a, prefer a, a bit of hustle and bustle, a little bit. You know, I do like, as I, said, as I said, I do like, obviously I like to have my own things and stuff like that, but it'd be nice to be able to have a bit of banter with someone. Hello, how you doing? What are you getting on? I've lived here for a year in this complex, and I know one person, she know, actually I've interviewed her on um, the big picture, El Panorama. Um, there's the interview with her there, her name is Juanisa. She's a good friend of mine. She's the only one that I can have a chat with. And it's not because she's the only one that speaks English. Because um, a lot of the girls that live here do. There's a lot of girls living in this place, single, professional, 30, 20-something, 30-something girls live here. Um, and I say hello 
some of them might go hello in very very melancholy kind of way reply um, but there's only one person that's when he said there's only one person that I can talk to on a regular basis and shoot the breeze with after a year of living here there's another guy uh, another friend of mine uh, Joe a Thai, a Thai guy who I can have a chat with but apart from that I mean I did trick-or-treating with my son last night this is obviously the day after Halloween so what do you got? Yeah. Uh, do you want to say hello to YouTube? Come here. This is one of the security hello. guards here. He speaks a bit of English. What's your name? Name Tong. Tong, that's Tong. One of the best one of the best security gar guards you'll find in Bangkok. Kondima. You're very good. Very good. But anyway, um, he maintains the status quo here. Um, they will do anything for you. So that was Tong anyway. But I brought my son trick or treating um, last night, give him the day away, I mean, it's the day after Halloween obviously. And if you didn't know, Halloween's an Irish, an ancient Irish festival. Um, it all started in Ireland, as a lot of things did. But, won't go into that. but anyway, I, he got dressed up in his Batman gear and his, his, um, his mask. You'll all know Harry, he's, a, he's, he's a, my, my co-host here on the channel. But he went round the ground floor. We didn't go upstairs, we stayed in the ground floor apartments here. And one of the things I noticed, there's a standard lock on the apartment when you buy it. A lot, and I'd never noticed this before because I never ventured to knock on any anyone's apartment because you don't do that, you see. It's private. And a lot of them have invested in high-grade security locks for the apartment doors but they have security here as you see anyway um, but they have this thing about security um, and privacy but Harry knocked on it must be I think there was what it would be 20 about 20 apartments on the ground floor here and we only got we got two doors opened one of them it's not culturally, it's not their culture, you know, trick or treat isn't their culture. By the way, in Ireland it's not trick or treat, it's help the Halloween party. Trick or treat is an American thing. But anyway, now everyone does trick or treat. But he didn't get, he only got one thing in one place. Another guy opened the door and he looked at him as if he had two heads. And I said, Halloween, you know, and then he said, oh, my me, he didn't have anything. I said, come me stang, do you have money? Just one bat or two bat. And he just looked at me, but it was he was cultural, I suppose. But um, he, he, it looked as if he wasn't pleased with the fact that we knocked on his door. And this is what the missus said when she came home. By the way, Harry went. We went to another building. There's about five buildings here. We went to one, another building, and he hit the jackpot. Two doors opened, and he got lots of sweets. He was very, very happy. Um, now I'm not saying that all Thai people are very private like that. You get some very, very outgoing people like you get everywhere else because you can't generalise to that extent, but you can generalise to some extent. It's a cultural generalisation and that's what drives me bonkers. Um, I could do this all day long, standing here, and people just walk, walk by and no one would be curious or indicate their curiosity as to what I'm doing. And that can feel very isolating. And that leads, I mentioned the video about depression, that can lead to depression here as well. You can feel very isolated and um, very alone. So if you work from home in a place like this, which a lot of people do, and I do, you probably saw a grab guy there, a lot of the girls, girls, I said that again, I said it again, but it seems to be just girls. I asked my friend, I said, why is it there's such a high proportion of 25 to 35 year old females um, who live here? But I asked, why is there a high proportion? And she said to me that it's security. So they feel secure here, they like the privacy here, and that's the way it is. Um, so if you were planning on settling down in Bangkok or Thailand in general and you're going to live in a place where Thai people live, this doesn't apply to Pattaya or Phuket because that's designed for tourists, and you're going to live in a place like this that's designed for um, tourists, you're going to 
encounter or have to resign yourself to feeling to some degree isolated and invisible because of this privacy thing that they have going on here. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't ramble on too much. I hope if you did enjoy, you'll click that subscribe button, subscribe button, click the like button, click the share button, do all those wonderful things, and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.